How's it hanging? It is I, Menacing Cats, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Last time I ended up on this part, but I couldn't... Alright, hold up. Uh, last time I couldn't focus because I was already running out of time. If we don't make it through this, you should know that you think you're a great guy. Alright, um, we're gonna make it, Doug. Chill out. Chill out. I got you. Oh! Uh, ooh, ooh. Carly, don't do this. Don't do this. Are you sure? Ooh. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something strong, okay? Okay. Uh uh ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up, hold up. I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, they're going to let me die? Oh, I got it. When it comes to button mashing, I got years of Mario Party experience. All right, I got to be quick. Got to be quick. All right. Doug, get Doug. Help Doug. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, Doug. If I got to choose between you or Carly, it's going to be tight for you. I'm not going to lie. But if she don't... Blow his brains out. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. 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 Um. Sorry, Doug. I'm not gonna hold you. Oh, that's why she couldn't shoot. Oh. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, Doug. I'm sorry, Doug. I'm. So, I'm so sorry, Doug. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Doug. Let's go. I'm so sorry. Oh. If you don't smash that zombie's brain in wait, is that um my relative? I'm so sorry, Doug. <gasps> what? Yo, nah. I promise you, I'm going to kill him myself. I promise you. I promise you, I'm going to kill him. Thank you. Especially a good friend. All right, thank, thank you, thank you, Kenny. My bad. I should have let you knock his teeth out. That's how we doing it. That's how we do. It. Okay. Bet. I promise you, we gonna get our get back. I promise you. Are we are we back to this hotel? Oh, that's the girl. Ah, uh, you want to see that site again, Glenn? A little reminder. I promise you, it's hostile between the two of us. I promise you. I'm sorry, Doug. I I I couldn't I couldn't choose between you and Carly. Like I already said, it it was already up. None against you. And plus, she had the gun too, so. Yeah, somebody getting ate up real good. Hold up, where, where, where Dale? Where Dale? Let me, let me speak to him. Hey, Glenn. Stage nine, that's crazy. I think I need to go. Yes, please go. Yeah. Bye. I got friends there. I Good. Can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm sorry, but you and your father, y'all done. Y'all done. Let's see. Um, I like I'm trying. I'm trying not to be petty. You know, I, I'm trying not to be. I think I it's think the wrong call. The call. It's stupid. Maybe, but I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I All right, that's that's on him. 
we'll try. That is on him. Yeah, yeah. You looking at one wrong call you already made, and you're going to make another one? I don't think that's the right choice. Go ahead. Think about it. Think, Glenn. Insert the um, Omni Man meme. Oh, there's Dale. Let me turn around and talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you. Nah, nah. Let's. Nah. Hey, kid. Stop putting me in conversations, please. Me, uh, no Thank problem. you. You're a real one, Kenny. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got I, I, I really rock with you now, Kenny. Before, we had beef because of the whole Sean situation, but you, you proved yourself. Alright, no more conversations. I guess I gotta talk to Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Nah. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. But I'm right here. I'm right here. Um... Well, I'm, I'm sure, sure he liked you, too. too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Ah. Uh, Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You were my favorite. I was gonna help you both. both of you. But you, you had the gun. First. Yeah. You have the gun. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? That's understandable. Let me see. Uh, I guess I should talk to the wife. Can I talk to her? Yeah. Yeah, we gonna have stuff to talk about. I promise you. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. Oh, tell him to shut up. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there. You most surely did. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Uh, let's see. It's, it's just a walkie-talkie. Walkie it probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. Oh, okay. And now now y'all breaking my it's heart. Gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Mm hmm. Let I'm coming. I promise you, I'm coming. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. Duck, if you don't shut up. You like my daughter? Who? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away. Yo, I promise you, I don't like him. Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. Okay, Ian. I know who you are. And I don't you gonna do something about it? To you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Yo, first chance hey, I get. Lee? First chance. Do you have a second? Talk to the daughter. Talk to the daughter. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. I should have killed him. I promise you. Got you. Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. Yeah, I hope so too. Motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars. Keep someone on watch. Could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. 
Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I promise you it's not. I promise you. Oh, is that the power? Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it got real, real for a second. To be continued. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Another don't farm? What happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm? You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Ooh, okay, so it's gonna be a lot more people thing. There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever I thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. Okay. Yeah, nah. Um, whatever her name is, Lily, she gotta go. Oh, it's getting real. It's really getting real. All right. Okay, hold up. Well, I like the Herschel. I and 54% of players did that, you know. Wait, no, wait. I was honest. And then what I saved up, you know, I went to save Sean. Okay. Okay, so re relatively, I stayed well, it seemed like most choices were like 50-50. So, I guess I wasn't too special. Alright, uh, let me go on to the next episode right away. Alright, on to episode two. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I remember all this stuff. I'm telling you, things are going to be a lot more different this time. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And it I'm was Carly. Doug. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. I should have I should have thought it was um Kenny. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my You daughter, and your daughter, daughter they're gonna go. You? I'm not gonna lie, y'all. They're gonna go. They are going to go. I'm assuming it's going to be like a little time skip. Oh. Okay. Okay, he 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 got himself, you know, something new, not something nice to wear. Who are you? Damn it. What they get this time? Looks like a rabbit. Who are you? Uh, well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. All right, when I um, accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Oh, Carly's strapped yeah, like that? You're right. 
I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Um. Ooh, I don't trust Lily. We'll, we'll manage. manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Oh, so she's going crazy. Keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Probably not, but I... yeah. Between the lack of I roll with Kenny. And Lily fighting all the time. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Let's see. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Mm-hmm. We gonna solve that problem real quick, I promise you. He's an old, old racist asshole. asshole. That's what he is. Well, That's exactly his deal. And start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Hmm? Knock me flat. Ooh, um, hmm. why not take this shot? We need anything we can get at this point. I hope that doesn't get him killed. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I'm assuming that wasn't because of me. And I like how you missed the bird too. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off, God damn it! Get, yeah, get we're gonna have me. to cut that off, buddy. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Um, Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Hold up, hold up. I don't know, man. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help uh, you. Y'all, y'all panicking on me. Leave this fucked up. Y'all gonna get shot. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Um, ooh, ooh, um. Uh, I guess we'll try. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Ooh, hurry, ooh. Please, hurry. You only got a few tries. After that, I'm gonna leave you. The been altered. There's no release latch. You gotta do it um dead by daylight style. You gotta pull it. Shit, walkers. Oh, he might be done. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Oh, we gonna chop his leg off. Those walkers off of me. Say bye bye to your leg. Oh. <laughs> nah, your leg gotta go, buddy. <laughs> Your leg gotta go, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm demented. Ooh. Okay, yeah, nah. Ooh, ooh. We probably could have freed his leg. Sorry, buddy. He passed out. And pass out? You sure he's not dead? That looked like a lot he's of blood loss to me. You know, maybe grab the leg too. You know, we might be able to eat that. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Yeah, take him. Goodbye.
so much for your dad being in special forces. You did not retain any of those skills. I promise you, we're going to get you, Larry. I promise you. Okay, I see she's watching everything like an overlord. Alright, well, what's going on? Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Oh uh, yeah, she's not gonna like come that. On, come on, oh, God. What happened? Oh, oh, what the hell? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee, I, I don't know. Lee, what the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down? Hold up, um, I, what no, you I don't. I want to know uh, why you uh, thought up. bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. That's died too bad. If we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group All right, right you got here, a wallet right, right now. now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Wow, come that's crazy. Here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I. Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. Tell them, This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Dramatic? Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You've got nothing to say that about that. That word is kind of crazy. You know, Can I it say might something? feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I'm on your side, Kenny. Any of you Chill out. Up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Mm-mm. Don't talk to you me, think Lily. This is easy for me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. This is going to my favorites. Four food items for ten hungry people. Ooh. All right, let's see. It's only going to the people who are useful. I don't care. Oof, it's gonna be tough for some of y'all. Alright, uh... You're not getting any. I don't think you're relevant to the plot at the very least. Hey, hold up. Can I go around? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Yo, he is wild. He needs to die already. 
let's see. Um, hmm. I ain't giving you no food. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. No, we are not. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. I ain't giving you no food. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Ooh. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh, not sure about that. Um, I'm gonna give Mark here, the Mark, axe. Help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Ooh. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Yeah, that is that not what it is? Is that what you told him? And if I did? Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You're the one talking, so... It'll be a cold day in the underworld before I give him anything. A candy bar. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Katja can save him. Uh, mm, I'm not gonna give you food you just yet. Space? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Now, I didn't see what it was like. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making a business. smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Well, good luck with that wall. We'll get it. All right, y'all are good. What's that? Is it a crack? It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Which is why she's going to get a candy bar. Miss Carly. Can I come over here? How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Mm, oh my god, sure. sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. If I remember I'll to look for it. Thanks. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Uh, what's hey, your deal? Is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Uh. So who, so are, who are you? you? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. He looks like Shaggy. Like, he, he, he got the little patch mustache, the hairstyle. He, he looks exactly like him. How are you holding up, kid? Well, a little uh, bit with less well, hair. I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? No, some kind of not really. I don't know. Something. Uh, let's see. Uh, You'll be prepared next time. Yeah, you gotta next grow time. up. Yeah. Relax. I ain't giving you no food. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Uh. Let's see. Sleep, Sleep any, any better. better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. That's unacceptable. Yeah. Uh. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? 
Well, that's tough. If I wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. I ain't giving him nothing. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. I like how she's always trying Thanks, to give girl. me advice. I really, tr she's my number one, my, my lieutenant right there. She's my number one, and that's why you're getting a food. Uh, let's see. I'll give you uh, half an, an apple. apple. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Because I really appreciate her. Back Does she got anything up? Oh, okay, no, nothing else. You know, if you're useful to the team, you're, you're getting food. Kenny, he saved me, so he's definitely getting something. 100%. Word's well, it's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Um... Uh, I mean... Uh, I don't trust Larry, and I'm... I'm sorry not to trust Lily. The only guy I like is the guy with the glasses. I don't remember his name yet. Cool so, sound like a smart maybe. Idea. It's a maybe. It's the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Uh, can, is there anything more I can say to him? Ooh. Hold up. Thanks About the guy in the bear sorry, trap. Get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that yeah, I wasn't was? risking it. I'll Want give him some food. Eat? You know, uh, he, give him some protein, something to help him, you know, Here, Kenny, help me more. This. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Alright, you kind of played yourself, because I'm not giving Duck anything. I, I tried. I tried, Kenny. You you dealt your own hands. Um, Can I talk to... Come down here. Uh, Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now, and it's working. For now. I guess she is right about that. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Uh, if she suggests I give some food to Larry, then you and Kenny, y'all not, y'all both not getting food. I'm not, I'm gonna keep it straight. Here. Keep, keep your energy up. Come on. Take it, please. I don't want don't anything be like... from you. You see, I'm trying, I'm trying to be nice. Uh, I'm trying to be so nice, please. Just, just take it. Just take it, please. Before I throw it on the take floor. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. I, my God, why do y'all gotta be so? Hmm. Um, I wasn't originally gonna give you anything, Clementine, but since the other two being so standoffish, they. You 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 gonna have to get some food. Let's see. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? Let's see. Uh, I try not to lie to her. I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Don't worry. I got you right here. Here, Clem. 
You need something to eat. The cheese and crackers. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. That guy's can't you be choosers. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Ooh, this is tough. It is very tough. Um, uh, I mean, plot wise, I guess me not having food, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. All right, so I'm, I'm going to try to give you a chance to not annoy me, duck. Please don't, don't, don't say something stupid. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix them. Okay. How are you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Um, Catch let me... Later, Doug. Let me Bye, speak Lee. to, um... The mother first. But she'll probably say the same thing. She want Duck to eat her food. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Lee, this man has no leg. Yeah, ooh. That was my bad. I'm not gonna lie. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Uh, I know he's definitely You've gonna hold a grudge against me. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Uh, no, I can't. I, okay, I guess I can't give her some food. Oh boy. Um. I guess I'll I'll give Duck Boy a, a food. There. Hey Duck. Only because Clementine food. wanted him to get some. Here. There yeah. you go. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Not my first choice, but you know, it's it's what I got left. Not such an easy job, is it? It was. Eh, it was pretty easy until y'all started <laughs> crying about crying about it. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? That's There's tough. No left. Tough. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. I'm working on that RV. Hey, like, what, what do you expect me? Come here, please. What do you expect me to do? It, did he? Ooh. He lost too much blood. Yeah, God I already knew it. it. Whoops, I kind of killed him. Sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Um, yeah. Let him just... go, Katja. But it he just needs time. Yeah. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, yeah, that was my bad. Wow. What about the other kid? Um. Uh, oh my god. Nah. Let her go. Bye. Ooh. Y'all gonna help out? Oh, oh, I'm glad I know this. Bye, die. Wow, wow, you really fumbled with that. I'm not gonna lie. Get him, kick him, kick him. If, please. Nah, I, I do not trust whatever his name is. Please. Oh my god. Why'd I give him the axe? Honestly, truthfully, you already just lost all favor with me. Why'd I give him the axe? 
Excuse me. Like, you really sold high key. Alright, move, move. Alright, let's let's back up. Let's back up. Ooh. Back up, back up, back up. And this is why you get food, Carly. This is exactly why you get food. Every time. Okay? I don't care. Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why all right. didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't oh, say a yeah. goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Okay, Wait, yeah. You all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Oh, wow. Ooh, we're all, all infected? infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I All I know he is could be lying. people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back I don't up! know if I believe him. Yeah, Whoa, nah. lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Nah, I hold up. Um... Uh... We don't nah, y'all need to go. Y'all need to go. Bye. Do we. Y'all need to go. I'm no. I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks That's like tough. you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine. But uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. That's tough. I'm sorry. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. I don't trust them. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Now we might have to shoot them. Food. We got plenty at the dairy. They're talking sweet words to us. That's what they're doing. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. That's I'm crazy. You. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Um, hmm. Uh, I don't trust them. Um, why not? A deal. It's worth checking out. And we'll if anything, I'll shoot you, any of In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Okay. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Because so, I was going to say, there, hold up, let me, really let me hold that. Or do we lost most of the cattle but we still have lots of milk butter and cheese stocked up and with the vegetables we grow we got plenty of food it's nice to get away from that motel for a while this lily kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous personally i'd be happier if you started to take charge more Ooh. you think they'd want me for a leader sure everybody looks up to you Look at her trying to riz me up. I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Yeah, so you kind of just blatantly said it. I gave her a half truth. did happen with the senator. Uh. You know what happened. It I wasn't an accident. The press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Yeah, it's Whatever not anyone's business. Things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? 
Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Mm. It's, it's none of your business. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Nah, I think the farmer people are working together. You guys it up. There's only two. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered with something that happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Jesus. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. We can't loot his body first? Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world For is now. in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince them to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I don't trust them. Let me see. I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Ooh. Oh yeah, uh... I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Hmm. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Ooh. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the oh yeah, day. now he gotta go. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take some I don't know about that. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. 
See you in a while. Oh, no. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? I don't trust them. Mm. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Right, I just wanted to check how long I was playing and I am certainly reaching that time. You know, I don't trust them. You know, they're giving me very much Texas Chainsaw Massacre type of vibes. That's exactly, I don't trust them. They're planning to eat us. They're asking a lot of questions like, you know, how many people y'all got at your camp, you know. Uh, who's in charge they're, they're trying to gauge the situation so they can go on the uh, offense and attack us but hopefully we'll see what they got going on next time see you next time and please consider liking commenting and subscribing